What's up guys, Sal here. So smartphones have become an essential part of our everyday life. Today they are something we swear by and can't live without. While great innovation in the smartphone world are making our lives easier day by day, some experiments just didn't hit the mark. So let's take a look at some of the smartphones that didn't hit the mark. It has to be the biggest scam in the history of phones. This company named Ringing Bells made a phone called Freedom 251, an Android device that has some astounding specs for an unbelievable price tag which is a little less than $4. The phone generated over 50 million pre-orders in no time. The smartphone that cost less than a cup of Starbucks coffee made headlines all over the tech world and reporters rushed to get their hands on the device as soon as possible, which is when things got a little weird. They found a globe of white outs smeared across the front of the smartphone. Scraping the white out of it revealed that the device was actually the Adcom Icon 4 in a very poor disguise. The thing is, they never shipped any of the phones to those 50 million people even after charging the pre-order money. The Freedom 251 was nothing more than a scam of epic proportions and a lesson to be learned for all the people out there who tend to fall for things that are too good to be true. What's left to say about the phablet that burned? Not much. Samsung's extra large Note 7 was a great phone marred by a bunch of batteries that caused it to explode thanks to a design flaw. Airlines banded, Samsung had to remotely set them not to charge, effectively killing any that weren't recalled. It's the best phone no one should ever use for their own safety. Then we have the Google Pixel 4, the phone that has a huge forehead specifically because it has a teeny tiny radar chip in there supposedly meant to detect hand motions with intent around the phone. It's the result of Google's project Soli, a long-running effort to develop a touchless interaction interface. Well, what we got on the Pixel 4 is far from the concept Soli set off with. Pixel 4's radar helps you change songs and cancel calls by waving in front of the screen. Oh, it also helps with faster face scanning because the radar will detect when you're about to pick up the phone. Basically, most of the times the chip didn't even work to perform basic tasks properly and turned out to be a huge disappointment. So the makers of the Hollywood video cameras RED tried to enter the smartphone world with Hydrogen 1 which had a holographic display and an ultra high-end modular camera. But the problem with their phones was the company tried so hard to stand out that it overlooked the essential of building smartphones, the device's holographic display never worked and the price of the handset was comical at $1300. Apart from this, the device was delayed twice due to manufacturing defects which eventually led to its failure and they had to shut the whole project down. Essentially, the essential phone were willed into existence by Andy Rubin, a guy who co-created Android before it was acquired by Google. He left Google after 9 years and it turns out it was because he is allegedly not a great human. Meanwhile, he still managed to secure millions in venture funding based on his name alone to get the PH1 phone out the door. And it wasn't a bad phone but nowhere near the success it might have been. It was going downhill even before Ruben's name was soared. The company teased a new device a few months ago but recently announced that the whole company is shutting down. Amazon had success with tablets, so why not build a phone? The Fire Phone was meant to be much more than another Android handset. With some special 3D camera capabilities, it was gonna help you go shopping. Yes, Amazon cynically built the phone to push its retail options. The potential audience buying phones on Amazon did not buy into the Fire Phone. Amazon lost millions on it and pulled all the handsets after less than a year. I guess they're probably still filling the corners of a warehouse somewhere. Let's call this the vaporware special of the collection. Google's Project Aura was designed to be the modular system that let you build a smartphone with only the features you wanted. Don't need a front-facing camera, don't attach that module. With each new advance, you swap out pieces and have a newer, faster phone without losing all your other options. But unfortunately, the project was suspended in September 2016 after three years of making makers salivate. Of course, with that being said, do let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.